strategist Chris Booth, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, it's definitely a warm start to our weekend. Temperatures got into the upper 90s. 98 are high here in San Angelo, so a couple degrees above average. Still staying well away from the record of 109. Overnight lows were pretty close to where they should be for this time of year as well. And with all this recent heat, it's hard to believe we haven't even actually started astronomical summer. That actually begins tomorrow. It'll be Sunday at 10.32 p.m. That is when we hit our summer solstice where the days are the longest of the year. We'll be looking at 14 hours and 11 minutes of sunlight. And then after that, the, we get into the next several uh, months. We'll be looking at those daylights to begin to shrink and shrink rather. Again, Father's Day forecast looks to be on the warm side. We'll be starting off on the cooler side in the mid-70s, quickly warming up into the 90s, and then getting close to the triple digits by the afternoon time frame. And again, looking at our satellite and radar, clear skies that allowed for plenty of that heat. Off towards our east, though, we can see the remnants of Tropical Depression Claudette as that has made landfall and is moving in, bringing plenty of rain. Didn't have a lot of wind or storm surge with it, so again, some beneficial rain, but uh, that stayed well off towards our east. We stayed, again, hot and dry for us here in the Concho Valley. Looking at the past 24 hours, we did get up to 98 for our high again. But again, if you have any outdoor plans, definitely those early morning hours, taking care of any yard work or anything that you need to do outdoors. A little bit cooler, getting into these low 70s, that's the better time to do uh, most anything outdoors. 98 right now in downtown San Angelo with those southeasterly winds at 9 miles per hour. And the humidity is a little bit on the nicer side, only dew points in the 50s. Wind speeds have been a little bit breezy at times. We've seen gusts getting into the teens and even into the 20s at times. Still from the southeast, we'll continue to move in those warm southerly winds. And again, looking at the max gust for today, we did see a gust of 23 here in San Angelo. Gust of 27 out in the zone. So again, breezy at times. That kind of helps with the hotter temperatures, kind of making things feel just a little bit cooler. But otherwise, it has still been pretty warm across the area. A little cooler to the east, 92 in Brady, 95 in Coleman, 94 in Eden, 97 out in Mertzen. So again, getting into those mid to upper 90s, we'll see that continue for us tomorrow as well. Tonight, mostly clear skies, temperatures dipping into the lower 70s, 72, your overnight low. And then tomorrow, just a tad bit warmer, getting into the triple digits, 101. We'll see some afternoon clouds as well as some southeasterly winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. But the big talk is we're going to be looking forward to is those rain chances going into early next week. That's going to be starting off on Monday. We'll stay relatively clear for the weekend. We'll look at some showers up in the Texas Panhandle on Sunday, but we get our chance of rain on Monday as this cold front comes through and we'll be bringing in a kind of a swath of rain as it passes through late in the evening. So again, we'll stay hot during the early parts of Monday as we get later into the Monday evening. Then we'll start to see those showers push through. And again, quickly pass out of the area and drying us out as we get into Tuesday. That's when we're going to see that ridge build back into the area. So again, watching that cool air, a little bit of it moving in for us on Monday. That's going to just break up those highs a little bit. But by Tuesday, we see that ridge rebuilding in the west. It's going to begin to push back over our area, and it's going to allow us to warm back up going into the later parts of next week. So again, looking at a hot day for Father's Day, 40% chance of rain showers and storms will still be pretty warm. We will have a slight cool down getting into the lower 90s for us on Tuesday, but that cool down doesn't last very long because we quickly bounce back getting into the upper 90s and triple digits to round out the week heading into next week.